last fall when we pulled honey uh, we had a lot of frames like this that had a, a little bit of nectar in it and just a little bit of honey on it this one right here the back side had more nectar in it and a little bit of honey but this hive this frame here I think it came out of one that uh, had a little bit of uh, high beetle damage on it so I didn't particularly want to put this in my honey crop for the year I could have come in here and looked at that real good but I didn't really want to do that I don't need the honey that bad uh, I have a weight problem and Shirley's diabetic so we don't really need the honey that much but tell you who does like honey and that's bees bees love this stuff and uh, in the spring in the late winter uh, you can have bees that are perfectly healthy everything's fine and they think they put enough stores away but you get some nice warm days and they'll break cluster and they'll start flying they'll do their cleansing flights and like right now in North Carolina where we are there is some uh, dandelion hen bit and maybe a few might be some other stuff out there that's blooming a little bit so the bees are actually going out on the warm days and they're flying they're not in a cluster but when they go out and fly they burn a lot of energy and uh, what they're finding out there is a little bit of pollen well pollen is a good protein source for the bees and that's what they like but they all also need some carbohydrates and there's not a lot of nectar out there right now so you get a few warm days then you get a cold day then you get a few warm days and some cold days instead of staying in a cluster all the time they're burning a lot of energy so when they're burning energy and then we jump into uh, two weeks of uh, really really cold weather or maybe some snow and ice which we're subject to get here through the any time from now to the end of March uh, your bees can run out of food even though they've made it all winter and they took off you know late winter they're actually flying everything's good they just run out of carbohydrates to keep them warm from all that extra work they've been doing on those few warm days so this is good honey right here and uh, you can see we put this stuff out here about 10 minutes before we started filming and there's already bees flying around so this is old chair frame from a deck chair from years ago that uh, didn't make it I think it made it about 15 years and it kind of rotted but screwed a couple boards here hang the frames out here I've got a lid I'll put on it and over the next couple of weeks every day it's warm these bees will be flying out here they'll be cleaning out these frames getting the honey taking it back to the hives so that they'll have plenty to make it to the spring flow and it cleans out the hives for us you know cleans this frame out for us so we can put it back in and also it provides good energy for the bees this time of year so i've got a few frames some of them got more some of them's got less this has got a good amount on it uh this frame here some we just cut out i don't know why even that's got a little nectar on it they'll, they'll come in here and in a few days this frame right here if we just put it out by itself it would take the local bees three days four days to clean that out uh, so I'm gonna have them plenty out here we're supposed to get 80 degrees this week so we're gonna have several days that the bees will be out flying they're looking for pollen and they'll find some pollen but like I said there's not really any nectar to speak of and this is the time of year when bees uh, can use the benefit of having some uh, good carbohydrates a lot of people feed sugar water and the way I look at it, it's just like giving your kids sugar water you know if you feed your kids candy bars and uh, soft drinks it's not good for them it's not good for the bees either so that's why I tend to save some honey frames not take all of it out for myself but save it for the bees for the spring of the year until we get a nectar flow so this is one of the ways you can help your bees is save a few frames 
if you don't need to put it in there, you know, we checked up all of our bees probably the first of December. Everybody looked like they had plenty of food, but I'm not going to go back in there now. I'm just going to put this out here and they'll find it. As you can see, 10 to 15 minutes in and we got, you know, 15, 20 bees buzzing in and in about another 20 to 30 minutes, there'll be hundreds of bees right here. Now I don't have to pull this capping off of here for the bees. They're perfectly capable of chewing it off themselves. But it's coming off. Well, if I do it as bees do it, this way we can save the wax. And it saves the bees from having to expend that energy too, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is our bee buffet. Yeah. <laughs> We look back on our Facebook a year ago right now there was about three to four inches of snow on the ground and the trees just covered in ice so you never know it's supposed to be 80 to 4 degrees here tomorrow but next week there could be snow on the ground and these bees would uh, Be, they'll be really glad that they had this extra honey here back to their hives right now they're probably brooding up we haven't opened them up to see but I imagine that the queen is working really hard to make as many as much brood as she can it takes energy to do that so this will be a good energy source for them without feeding them sugar water. Mm, that's good stuff.